In this little MOSFET video, we're going to be looking at using the MOSFET as a variable resistor. So I haven't pre-prepared my drawing this time. So I've got a potentiometer, which is this blue device here, connected to a battery pack, which is off the screen, which you can't see. That's nominally around about 6 volts. And this is providing a voltage towards the, the gate of our MOSFET. Now our MOSFET is connected down to the 0 volts rail, like this. But it's also connected to a resistor, and that is connected to a power supply. And the power supply in this case is plus 1 volt, exactly 1 volt. So that's what we have here. Here's the MOSFET. Here's the resistor. The resistor value is one kilo ohm and I've got two voltmeters set up this one here and this one here one of those voltmeters is this one which is measuring the gate source voltage and it's probably best to label these things in this case so I'll just do here VGS Ta -da. like that okay. and we've got another voltmeter here which is going to measure the voltage across the MOSFET. This is looking remarkably like all our other circuits, but in this case, this is going to be labeled V out. Now, why is it going to be labeled V out? Well, the reason it's labeled V out, like that, is because this circuit here, we should recognize as being a potential divider. Potential divider, of course, is two resistors. and we get a voltage out, R1 and R2. And what we should find here is that we can vary our output voltage by varying the gate voltage because what we're doing effectively is making this resistor, this MOSFET, change its resistance. So let's have a look and see how that works out. Now before we do that, I'm going to take some values and I'm going to try and draw a graph of, well, what? Well, this time I'm going to try and draw a graph of the gate source voltage versus, versus R, the resistance of the drain and the source. And I'm not drawing a quantitative graph like I did in my other videos. I'm just drawing a little qualitative graph. So let's have a play and see what happens. So to start with, my gate source voltage is 0. My output voltage is 1. My input voltage is 1. I should probably write the values on here. 1 volt. My input voltage is 1. Now, thinking about potential dividers, if this value here is 1 kilo ohm, for this output voltage to be effectively the same as the input voltage to within the resolution of the meters, this resistance must be massive, mega ohms, because this resistor is by far the largest of the, the pair, so that this output voltage is much bigger than this voltage here. Okay, so let's have a look and draw it on our graph. Uh, VGS graph. So what we've got here is for zero, the resistance is off the top of the scale somewhere. It's massive. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to start increasing the gate source voltage. And wow, exciting me, the output voltage doesn't change at all. It doesn't change for the first couple of volts. Now this shouldn't surprise us because we know from our previous look at MOSFETs is that the threshold voltage is around about 3 volts, 4 volts. So these things have a very, very high resistance until they start to approach the threshold voltage. So I'll just keep going. Even there at 2.5 volts, I've turned the MOSFET, I've given it 2.5 volts of um, gate voltage and now it's just on the cusp of starting to give me an output voltage which is slightly lower, indicating that this resistor here, this, this resistor here is just starting to reduce in value. So keep going. And we'll stop about there for now. That's about 2.7 volts or so. So I'm going to put some scales on my axes here. This is zero. This is five, which is what we went to it to before. So 2.5 which is there was still pretty infinite. 
let's have a look at what this value is now. Well, this is 0.99, which means that this one is 0.01. So this is effectively 1 to about 100. So that means the resistor of the MOSFET, the resistance of the MOSFET now is about 100K, because that's 1K, so that's about 100K. So this is right up here at the 100K mark. Okay, I've not put a scale on my resistance scale yet. Now, if we keep going down, the next interesting one to find is when this output voltage is going to be half the supply voltage, because then we know these two are going to be equal. Let's see how quickly that happens. And as you can see, the output voltage is now falling quite quickly as the resistance of the MOSFET falls, and we went straight past the point we're looking for. We'll go back to it. It's pretty close. So this is now almost 0.5 volts to within tolerance that I can get, which means that the resistance of the MOSFET is now the same as the resistor of the top resistance, 1K. And that's only at 3.1 volts. So if that was 2.5, that's going to be about 2, that's going to be about 3 volts, going to be about there. And it's gone from being 100K down to 1K. This is a very, very non-linear scale. And if we keep going, there you go. Now the output voltage is at 0 0.01, which means that this is 1% of the total voltage which means that this resistor is 1% of the total resistance. So this is now down to about 10 ohms at 3.3 volts. So realistically, we get a, a curve that goes something like this. It's a very steep plummet from very high resistance down to a very low resistance. So here, it's very small. Now the actual minimum resistance of a MOSFET depends on the, um, the actual design of the MOSFET itself. And in this space here, greater than a mega ohm. Okay? So, what we can say is here that for low gate source voltages, 2 volts and less, then the resistance is extremely high. For high gate source voltages, anything above the threshold voltage really, the resistance is really very small, and somewhere in between it changes extremely rapidly. I'm going to build a different circuit and then carry on with this.